We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, and man, oh man, we couldn't be happier to have Armando here from Baca um, on Federal Hill. Um, a lot of people saw your story, and you really are a special guy to all of us here at the Roadshow, and we're happy that you're on your feet, that you're feeling good, and that you're back in action again, because I know it was, it, was a long, it was a long road for Listen, you. I'm going to put you through the ringer today. Yeah, that's, okay. that's okay. All right? That's thank okay. you. No, thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's been quite the journey, I will tell you that yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. So you're back for a triumphant return. We're, yeah, I, no, I'm not making fried dough. We will build up to that. Well, a couple episodes later, we'll be like, we'll get, we'll get oh my God, up. this guy brought fried dough back. Yes. We're not bringing fried dough yes, back today. Yes, yes, What are we making? So today we're going to make something called fregola sarda. Okay. Okay, fregola sarda is exactly this little beautiful thing here. And all that is is a pasta. It's made from semolina. It looks like couscous if right. you look at it. Yeah. But it's actually made from semolina. It's dried, it's rolled, and then it's cut out in these little holes. And basically what we're going to make is kind of a, a, a southern Italian spice. I, we, uh, let's call it a soup because it has liquid, mm -hmm. but we're going to use these beautiful tomatoes, which you always, I know, I bring in these funky stuff. From I was looking at they, they Those are pianola tomatoes. Beautiful. They're, they're from Mount Vesuvius. Okay, and then obviously the usual is garlic, a little hot. And then our friends over at Tambaco, because you can't, cook with crappy wines. Okay. You have to cook with a good wine. A good wine. So this is a beautiful Primitivo from Puglia, uh, Rosé. We're going to use it up. I just thought it would be nice to bring a little color to the action because you know how I am. I'm very colorful. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so this is easy to put together. I know you're back at the restaurant a couple of days and everyone is so happy on Federal Hill. They really did rally around they, they, you, your family, the restaurant. They were unbelievable. Well. Yeah. Unbelievable what they did for me, for my wife who handled the restaurant while I was gone. Um, and it was just, it's just been such a, a fresh uh, kind of joyful occasion to just come back to, to the Hill. And the Hill has been incredibly, incredibly happy for me. Well, so. we are so happy you're here with us uh, today and uh, back in this kitchen and cooking for us. It really is a, a pleasure to have you here. So we're going to do that. Talk about the restaurant and everything else this guy has going on. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Baco Vino and Contorni is back. Chef Armando is with us, um, and it is so nice to have had to have Something's you. Something's happened while you were in a coma in a hospital for 25 days. I, she walked in. I'm like, you're pregnant again. <laughs> yeah. Didn't notice it. So, Here we go. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank I, you so I much. I didn't really know. So. Uh, but more congratulations to you Thank for you. just being here. You, you look great. You sound great. You're, you have such a positive mindset now. Um, for those who were unfamiliar, like you said, you did go through about with COVID, and your recovery was rough, but um, some bright things have very come bright, out of it. Very bright, very bright, very um, bright. And I, one of the things we were mentioning before was the, appreci the newfound appreciation. I had these two amazing, amazing nurses, Darlene and Alicia, which I'm going to tell, say their names because Please. they practically saved my life. And they were my ICU nurses in the 15 days that I was on, on the ventilator. And when I tell you, I still talk to them all, every other day. They're absolute, they're my angels. And, and it's, it's, it's really an amazing, amazing feat. And it my, makes I add, me feel, feel so good and to hear that there add, are people like that. Oh God, yeah. And <laughs> my I add that, you know, the other person who's been, who was an amazing rock in my life was my wife, Gabriella, who, you know, in, in the matter of a day and a half took over the restaurant. Uh, just kind of really kicked it in high gear. Yeah. Uh, her and my and my you know my Danielle, who's another one of my staff members, and my chef Mario, all of them were just so incredible throughout this whole process. Made it really easy for me to go, mm -hmm. and actually made it even easier for me to come back. So wow, I, I, like you said, these these people who we can't stop talking you can't stop about. Talking it's about over them. a year later, but there are still some amazing stories that have come out of this. And some amazing food now, too, because so, Armando is back. I am back. <laughs> so I made something a little funky today. We know Rhode Islanders love clams, right? Yeah. So I get these beautiful baby clams. I'm going to leave this they're right They're so here. tiny. So tiny. Um, they're, we call them manilas. They're really small. Um, and what we do is we make this beautiful, like, soup it's not really a soup it's just basically no. a nice broth of tomatoes yeah this beautiful white wine or rosé wine that we did today that you said cook with a good wine we cook with a good wine and then we're just gonna add some parsley on that and we're just mm. gonna dress it up really nice like that and that's just beautiful. a beautiful dish where sir this is going to be on our summer menu mm -hmm. uh because you always need a soup like yes. dish you know what i mean but you know and then you want to sop it up yeah and, and then you just bit. put some bread in it but you know what but that's again a form of what we do with the freshest ingredients and obviously mm -hmm. all the ingredients that we bring in from italy and all over the world so and and you are cooking for so many people, not just restaurant yep. goers. Can you tell us about this new initiative? Yes, that the you new started? initiative. We started an initiative about a month before I got sick, and it really didn't get off the ground because I got sick. But it's called Me Meals for Heroes, and this is really a project that my wife and I are very into. It's actually a project Gabriella really took her time and, and created. And what it is is basically, um, if you wanted to donate a meal to firemen 
police, first responders, yeah. nurses, doctors. You just call us and you say, Armando, I want you to feed you know a, a healthy meal to 20 of the you know firehouse whatever, right. and we do it. And and what we do is we prep 20 healthy meals, stuff that we really think they could eat that they would love mm -hmm. and it's at ten dollars a piece wow for it and it's 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 it, they're these huge Gabriella just yeah. stuck it up did it really well and what I thought would be nice was if anybody is watching us anybody's following if they call us mm -hmm. um, and they want to do this we'll cut in half we'll cover five dollars of it and they can cover five dollars of it so wow. so and we can get some meals out to some you know if you know that there's doctors or there's an office the office where you know offices that you know these people have been really you know and I've said this to you before uh, our system between the nurses the CNAs the the, the, the teaching professionals who are teaching the new nurses to come up. There's These so are all many involved. So, so many involved, yeah. and we really would love to help as many as we can. Mm -hmm. um, again, that's just kind of a little bit of what we've always done, and yeah. and I, I I have this new vigor in in really helping the community because I'm about the we're about the community. Yeah. Whether it's on Federal Hill, it's the city of Providence, it's the state of Rhode Island, it's where we live. So well, our community was rallying around you too. For and I and I am so, so incredibly grateful. Well, really, we're, we're so happy to, to have you back in our kitchen and cooking up another delicious meal so uh, details for meals for heroes you said? meals for heroes meals you can call heroes. the restaurant you can ask or you can email us at vaco.federalhill at gmail.com and we will get to work for you take advantage of that make sure you mention the roadshow and find this recipe at roadshow.com